It's the Rob's Rant Show with your host, Rob Bell. Brought to you by 906 Multimedia. Let's not be distracted. Let's talk about that when I come back. This is Rob Bell, and this is Rob's Rant. With all the recent events, um, really, in, in the last couple of days with uh, Mrs. Trump and her plagiarized speech, with Donald Trump being elected or nominated as the Republican representative for the presidency of the United States, with three police officers uh, getting shot in Baton Rouge, with six police officers getting shot in Dallas, you know, we have been distracted. And we've been distracted to the fact of, let's not forget that two black men were shot and killed by two police officers, and one in Baton Rouge and one in uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota, St. Paul. Let's not forget about that. You know, let's not get so far away from the fact that black men in this country are still being killed by white police officers. And even deeper than that, you know, we are still disenfranchised. We are still marginalized. We are still minimized in this country as citizens. And as a result of that, we are getting treated the way we are getting treated. Let's not be distracted by all the craziness that's going on and forget about the racism that continues to occur in this country and how we as a country are afraid to really face the fact that there is still racism because there are people who believe that there is no racism. And most of those people are white people because there's no racism for them, racism for us. There are people who still believe that this country is cool and that everybody is on an equal plane. And we all know that that's not the truth. There are people who still believe that there is no problem and they can't understand what we're bitching about and why, you know, we're making a big deal about any of this. Uh, Because, again, it doesn't fall on their doorstep. It falls on ours. But, again, let's not be distracted by... You know, what has rekindled this whole issue of race in this country to begin with? That two black men were shot and killed by two white police officers. That over the last several years, black men have been killed by white police officers. Of late, the police officers who were responsible for Freddie Gray's death all have been acquitted. And I continue to tell people it's almost impossible to get a conviction on a white police officer that kills a black man in this country. And you can call me a racist if you want. You can sound, you can say the the, the, the information I'm giving out sounds racist. It's the truth. I'm just stating the facts. And if you want to call that racism, then you know I can't stop you from calling it. Uh, whatever you want to call it. But I'm more concerned about the distraction of the things that have occurred of late that pulled us away from the fact that these black men were killed and that their family members will never see them again. You know, we put more accent on these police officers being shot, and we should. I don't condone that. I don't think police officers should be getting shot and killed. I don't think that's a way to combat or handle the situation. But by the same time, let's not forget that two black men got killed as well at the hands of police officers. Everybody seems to have forgotten about that. And we as African Americans cannot let people forget about that. That's something that needs to continue to be in the forefront no matter if we're going through a Republican National Convention or a Democratic National Convention, it needs to continue to be in the news, in the forefront. And I stated two weeks ago that uh, 
at this time, we all would have probably have forgotten about this. And that's exactly what has happened. So let's not uh, let America make us forget about the fact that these brothers have been shot and killed by white police officers in America. This is Rob Belt, and this is Rob Brent.